Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Super Bardis Round. I am John Mugiwara JM. Hey, I'm Danielle. And welcome to Psychonauts in the Ramus of Ruin. Oh, man, am I doing a sync test on here? Oh, that, that hurt. <laughs> that hurts my eyes. Um, welcome to Psychonauts in the Ramus of Ruin. This is the... Uh, hold on a second. I'm going to do like an intro. Uh, for, I'm going to pause this for a second. Um, so... We're, we were going to do Psychonauts 2, but then Austin, uh, fellow Super Barnes Round contributor, uh, said that we should do Psychonauts and Rhombus of Ruin, which is like a mid call between 1 and 2. Uh, and apparently it's referenced in the main story, so I figured let's do it. But it's a VR game, and uh, recording that and uh, and also having the headset on while communicating over Discord is very, very difficult. So what we're going to do is I recorded me playing the game already, and we're just going to watch and talk over it. Uh, not something we haven't done before. Me and Rich did that for the end of Alan Wake because we lost his footage because he fell asleep. So, um, yeah, we're just going to do that instead of uh, playing because there's no way in hell I'm doing VR over Discord. All right. So uh, let's get going. I am oh, and Danielle, you can't I'm give me crap with not, not getting figments because you don't collect them here. Real psychonaut. Me. Raz. But I know you will anyway. I'm finally a psycho. You knew what I was gonna say. Mission. Rescuing not just anybody, but the grand head of the psychonauts himself, Truman Zanato, who just happens to be the father of my girlfriend. I mean, I think she's my girlfriend. There was that kiss. But it's not like we've had the talk or anything. But You're hey, 12! She said it first. Darling. Didn't she? Rasputin, sweetie. Oh, Mia. Hello, darling. I just wanted to make sure that you were okay. Oh, hi, yeah, Mia. Fine. Nice to see I'm you not in PS2 graphics anymore. Loud. You could hear me? Just that last part about Lily. <laughs> it's adorable, but we're trying to contact headquarters up here, and it's a little distracting. Gotcha. So embarrassing. This is Agents 9 and Vodello hailing PNML-857. Come in, Mother Lord. So basically, Danielle, in this game, you don't move a sing you yeah, you stay in one spot. You don't move at all. You just move your head and just go through the levels that way. Are you still there, Danielle? Unbelievable. Yeah, I'm still here. Okay, I didn't hear you. What? So we'll just have to look. You move your head. Room. How do you? Is it just you I move your head and that's how you play the game? Do you remember the clair, you remember the clairvoyance pow power from the first game? Yeah. You basically move yeah. around that way. Oh yeah. So that like it's just like they saw it. So clairvoyance. Hi Lily. How you holding up? I'm so worried about my dad, Raz. Where is he? Why won't headquarters tell us what they know? We'll find him. I promise. So it's basically a, a point your head and point your head play. and uh, go into their wow. go into their vision sort of thing. So this is how Sasha sees the world. Well, not usually from so high in the air, but yes. So I'm in Sasha's head now. So there are some perspectives that you can't see from your own, so you just hop into other people's visions to uh, get their perspectives. Quite welcome, but I'm trying to find. Okay, so you basically you you press the button on a VR or something. No, you have like the actual PlayStation control in your hand, and you just push the buttons. Okay. You have to know which button does which thing. Mm -hmm. Hey, Lily. They tell you like you okay? there's there's a really there's a computer in front of Raz that tells you. <laughs> I guess you can tickle yourself. So that's your book, Sasha? I never thought you were into aliens. Only in it for the science, Rasputin. And I'm just trying to figure out the controls and how to interact with everything. Open up the uh, overhead compartments just to find out what's in there. That's the seal of the grand head of the Psychonauts. It's reserved for my dad. He uses the jet sometimes. He used to come see me at camp. But I was embarrassed and told him to stop. I'm the worst daughter in the world. <laughs> oh, wow. And you can use Darling, telekinesis too. not true. <laughs> 
pillows? This jet is all first class. Pillow fight. Pillow, pillow. Throw it at somebody. Or just pick, put it down. Oh, yeah, the new issue. Have to read this after the mission. True psychic tales. Ah, I got bored already. <laughs> <laughs> There's that one overhead compartment mm. that he's trying to bang open. Wonder what's in here? How'd that squirrel get in here? Oh, the squirrels get in here again. That's to be expected. <laughs> again. The yeah, again. I told headquarters an underground hangar pays for itself in two years. Well, let's think of it as a mask. I suddenly feel a little nutty. <laughs> oh my god! He went Who into the squirrel's you? brain. Nobody knows squirrels have no sense of humor. Hey, Rasputin, think you could toss me a roll of toilet paper? Wow, this stuff is super oh, like Coach Oleander. Wow, yeah, he's in the bathroom. Up. Just hand it to me, quick! Thanks for the reinforcement, son. Gonna reinforce my ass! Oh, uh, you can use pyrokinesis too. I hate too. to start a fire on this plane, but surprisingly, it does often. I didn't get it, but I. Oh, you can't light the toilet paper on fire. This plane really oh, is not me. I think you get a trophy for lighting the toilet paper on fire and handing it to Oleander, no but I didn't get it. No way, am blasting Lily. Oh man, toilet paper is fun to blow up. Hey, I need that. <laughs> sorry, not sorry. <laughs> I forget I forget what I was doing, but why I was doing that, but Well now I know, because like blowing shit up with your mind is fun. Especially when you're possessing a squirrel. I wonder why that one overhead compartment is locked and not the others. <laughs> Which one? Because I can't it contains oh. very secret gone. documents. Coach Oleander's secret it documents. It used to be my grandma's. What's a family heirloom doing locked up in the jet? No idea. But I'm glad That's it's That's an awkward time to talk about family heirlooms, wasn't it? Are you truly? Lord. Have you tried using clairvoyance with your music box to make a connection with your dad? That was the first thing I did. But either I'm too freaked out or too involved, or the signal's blocked, or he's. he's. Would you mind if I gave it a try? Quit it, Rasputin! This music box is special to me! Quit it, Rasputin! This music I'm, box is special to me! I'm getting something. Is it my father? Can you see him? No, not yet. Something is strange about this signal. Everyone, focus your thoughts on Raz and Grand Head Zonato. Together we can connect them. Maury, will you help us? I'll cover you from here. This is where I do my best concentrating. Well, I'm taking a shit. I see something. Oh, yeah. It's a strange room. Look around for clues, Rasputin. If we can figure out where this room is, we can fly the jet straight there. But first, tell me if my dad's okay! On it. Okay. If I were a computer genius, what Oh, there's I... Lily's dad. <laughs> Raz, what's wrong? I can't. I can't seem to. Something's wrong with my powers. Well, we may be very far away from They have from a play school computer dying, console. So connection might not be strong enough. I have no idea what I'm doing. Guess that wasn't right. This one's really interested in buttons, it seems. Oh, they all have like little kids consoles. They've got Truman's head in a giant steel ball. They cut off his head! <laughs> no, no, 
It's attached to his body. Okay. It's just stuck in a, a big round. Um, the cow says decapitate uh, him. Isolation bonnet, I presume. What are they using for an anti catalyst? This guy's in charge of the big ball. Oh, okay. So the uh, one of those symbols the, I know. the symbols are the it's password bad. for the doors. These other symbols look a little fishy. Raz, please be quiet. Hmm. <laughs> what is this place? What was it? Was it clam clam starfish? Yeah, that was the right code. Yes, it was. Okay, I open the hatch and oh, it's full of. Uh, What's wrong, darling? Nothing. Just got a little dizzy for a second. There's some That's sort right. of glowing yellow rock in here. Rasputin, was there a psychohazard symbol on the outside of the container you just opened? Oh, yeah. I was gonna mention that. Silerium. Be careful. Silerium? It's very psychically disorienting. And Silerium is also incredibly rare. That certainly narrows down the possible locations. <laughs> but we still need more information, Rasputin. Gotcha. So, would this game pick up, um... You talking while you were playing? No, it didn't. This guy's not reading a textbook. Because I wasn't using a microphone while playing. I was I was playing. I was only recording the game itself. Oh, look at this little comic about a hippo. Oh, I thought you said hippa. Hippa. Yeah, hippa. Like. Uh, like doctor recording. doctor confidentiality. Yeah. But then I saw hippo. Sorry, Fred. How am I going to fix this? You can take I heard a really good joke about hippo, but I can't tell you about it. <laughs> and I need to see you in my office. Did you finish those annual reports yet? Wait, did the hippo just? Oh, he went. He should have crashed on his bed. Henry's coming to a town near you. Watch out for the Henry. Here's something. Oh, there's another password. Blowfish, starfish, starfish. Nice. Yeah, this might be the most fun use of VR I've seen in the games thus far. I haven't played too many VR games, but... That's it! You found the location of the kidnapper's lair? No, I... Well, I'm not sure what I did. But I did something. Something's happening. This is very creative. VR. Yeah, it's you're, you're basically just using the clairvoyance yeah, to uh to go through perspectives and like get new information no. to solve puzzles. Outside of the window. Guys, you move your head to play. Underwater. Yep. Under a lot of it. Under it also solves the problem of like not having to actually run around. Like you just use clairvoyance to hop between no, people's visions. No wonder they haven't found it yet. Yeah. But the ocean is huge. Raz, we need more clues. I know. I'll keep looking. I'm still trying to figure out what the hell's going on. They're trying to find uh, Truman Zanotto, um, Lily's father. and that That's him right there in that brain thing. I see Truman. Is he okay? He looks okay. Like, this picks up right after Psychonauts 1 le uh, leaves off, where they, they get in the ship to go to Psychonauts headquarters. I know we finished really? the game like a couple of months ago, but, that, they, they, but that, that's how it ended. And you just go right into the ship, and then this is... This happens like immediately after that. Yeah. So Psychonauts won. That was yeah. Twenty years ago, wasn't it? No, they're wearing two thousand and four, I think. Curious. And this okay, so and this game came out in twenty seventeen. Okay, so. anything with my head all messed up like this. So this is like the first Psychonauts anything anyone got for uh, a very long time. And then two came out last year. Wow, yeah. So there was like 
Yeah, this is the first Psychonauts anything more since than, then. There's at least more than 10 years. Oh, yeah, that, or, for sure. The way. You're blocking the show. And then, wow, it's like... Well, I think that's actually pretty good be timing because it, it gave everybody just time to process that? what they appreciated Not the game. Sure. Yeah, and they, they ported the game, Something like, psychic. endlessly, too. And bad. Yeah, it, that helped. I guess that helped revive it a little bit. I would like it if they put Psychonauts on the Switch though, because the the, 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 the the platform can handle. That would be a good Switch game. Yeah, that would be a good Switch game, especially because it's like, mm -hmm. um, oh, yeah. you know, I like the controls on the Switch, and I feel like that would be a good. Yeah, and uh, uh, Microsoft owns Double Fine now, but they but they're not strangers to letting uh, Nintendo have their own games on there, so. Maybe if they maybe if they see fit to do it, I don't know about Psychonauts two though. Psychonauts two Something two like uses the power of the modern consoles. Right to me. Well, then I... yeah. What about what about um, Brutal Legend on the Switch? I think I, I think that could work. I would love that actually. What is it? It's yeah. The for I never finished that game. I think I started it a few times. If were it not for the licensed music, I would happily play that on the, on this Sasha, channel. An underwater Can we turn it off? Not yeah, but that's like half. That's like half the fun. That's like a Tony, that's like in the Tony Hawk games. You can turn it off. Yeah, people could probably play it while they watch. Shuttered for years. Eh. Exactly. What? Do you know what would be kind of funny? Is, mm -hmm. is if they is, if, like what? It's if they had. Safe. The music as subtitles instead. Yeah, I wish they could do that, but I guess they don't. So you don't get Silurium sickness. There, or there are newer games. There are newer games like that, like the new Guardians of the Galaxy game that coming out. That they have uh, an option just Lily. to just turn off the uh, licensed music, Lily, but not the rest of it. Stay away! Don't come here. It's not safe. Papa! Psychonauts one was two thousand and five. Something's not right. This isn't. So this was the first Psychonauts game, new Psychonauts game, in like 12 years when this came out. Darling, can you hear me? Rasputin, are you with us? How many fingers am I thinking about? <laughs> you did it, right? You out where my dad is. Outpost Charlie Psycho Delta, the only underwater Psychonaut research facility built for studying Silurium. And it's right in the middle of the rhombus of ruin. A region of the ocean noted for the numerous planes and ships that supposedly went missing there, as well as its four equilateral sides. <laughs> Truman told me not to. It's go basically away. the Bermuda Triangle in their not universe. Safe. Oh, those legends were made up by the psychonauts to scare people away from our facility years ago. We've actually been flying toward the rhombus for hours while you slept. As a matter of fact. Should be there right about now. We flew into the deadly parallelogram. Rasputin, please. The parallelogram sides are not necessarily equal. Warning. Psychonav systems compromised. We all need to focus. Ah, shit. Protecting the ship's controls. Too late. We need to focus on fastening our seatbelts. Warning. Catastrophic altitude loss. Turbulence to get the mouths moving. All right. Oh my God, why is the ocean coming at us? Press. And then we get our title screen. I like that they credit the voice actors as if they're like live action actors. That's nice. Oh, I forgot about the James Bond theme song that they had. I know that that's a brain, but that looks like an ass. Am I, am I wrong? That just, that just looks like that an ass. It doesn't look like an ass. Oh my god, that looks like... Psychonauts, yeah, the like, Rhombus of Ruin, otherwise known as Psychobots. It just... 
Okay. That's our. They're, that's today's episode title: Psycho Butts. Hands in front of the butt. Episode title right there: Psycho Butts. Yeah, that one looks like a brain though. <laughs> that fish. So what do you think so far? I don't know. We haven't gotten to the meat of it yet, but you basically get like uh, acclimated to how it works uh, from that pro prologue part. Lily, wait, what? Where am I? Oh no, I'm there. Sasha, Mia, can you hear me? Where are they? I have to get out of here. I can't see myself in that rusty mirror. Probably for the best. I really got to get out of this room. Hmm. All right, so What's for like 80% of the rest of this game, Rasputin does not move from that chair whatsoever. So this entire game is we're going to be hopping through people's visions through clairvoyance. Maybe I can open another window. It's a seashell, starfish, seashell. I've, well, pass to me remembers what, well, what the password is. I don't. Or maybe he doesn't. Seashell, starfish, seashell, blowfish. Maybe there's another code to open that other window. There we go. So, this is how it feels to be the button mask. Here we go. Did you just say the what butt the master? Wow. <laughs> the butt master. Oh, the butt. <laughs> the butt. Oh, you said the butt master. I so thought you said the butt. Like That's our new title now. Water. <laughs> hey, the door is closing. I'm stuck out here. Oh, that's right. I'm not really out here. Wow, look, like the, the video doesn't do it justice, but this this part blew me blew my mind. Pun unintended. I'm usually terrified of water, but since I'm only doing it mentally, I can actually enjoy it for once. So you just hop across fish to go deeper down. Raz is right in there, but you just keep moving down. According to True Psychic Tales, issue 43, the heart of the Rhombus of Ruin is an enormous Silerium deposit. So powerful it can confuse and attract the minds of pilots and captains for miles and miles, like a deadly mental magnet. The Psychonauts tried to set up research stations like this one to study it, but no one could bear the Silerium mental effects. And you just hop across fish. You can get to go anywhere you want to with the sensors. Well, you, you're limited to like like the fish that are around, and you're like what well, you're just actually you're just progressing to where you need to be. And like yeah, yeah, there are paths you can take, but like you have an objective. You just you just follow the fish. Did not expect to see one of these here. Yeah, like ships and planes, I understand, but how did the sedan get in there? <laughs> how did the sedan get anywhere? Well, whatever it is, it's a worm's car now. <laughs> Can I see your license and registration? <laughs> I'd happily give it to you if you stop bopping us in the head. Oh! No. Give me your license and registration. There's a dead body in there, too. Shit. Oh, well, is there two dead bodies in there? I think it was just one. Oh, well. Yep. I don't want to know what's going on there. Not much. He's dead. Why are they in the back seat? Why were they in the back seat? Is it backseat dire? It, 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 maybe he wasn't wearing a seatbelt, and that's where his body flung. Oh, yep. The seatbelt's been unbuckled. Yep, that's what happened. Wow. Look at all that Silurium. But he would have gone through the window, wouldn't he? Vehicles. Maybe. So many vehicles. Guided well, the, 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 that corpse, is, that corpse is probably Silurium down there, reasoning? but like the one in the back is probably was in the back. Magnetism? I mean, I just made that term up. 
I just realized there's like a giant friggin' brain down there. I can feel it now. I think John. My mind. I had to Wonder make an educated guess. Others. He chose to take heroin while his car was barreling okay. off a cliff. Mid mission and he died. status report. Plain what crash. would lead you to that? The team separated. I'm tied to a chair. It was just a guess. Psy powers not Doesn't have to have any realistic value. You said it was educated. I'm gonna put those in the challenges column. No, I wouldn't know anything. Under opportunities. Not dead yet. Some power's still working. Visit the questionable I area. Know a lot about fish. I just need to find Lily and Sasha. What makes it so soon. questionable? Oh, and Coach. Him too. Well, Is there heroin there? Got to get down there and find <laughs> I mean, that, that, that would be one way to make it questionable. Jellyfish didn't have brains. Guess this is one of the smart ones. <laughs> Maybe that fell off a boat? S H M Shim. Much of a view from down here. You know, this is looking a lot like more and more like a place to buy heroin. I wonder if one of my friends is the, locked in a ship. Open it and would have that light, lighting setting, wouldn't it? Hey, anybody in there? What? I can't see from here. That looks like the. What'd you say? This will. This place is lit like a, a place where you buy uh, buy heroin would look, wouldn't it? Yeah, like if if you could buy heroin. In the ocean, this is where it would, what it would look like. Hmm, not much of a view from down here. Under the sea, under the sea, buying some heroin. I, I need a fix. Inject it into me. <laughs> oh dear God! Can't side blast anything with my head all messed up like this. <sighs> Can't side blast anything with my head all messed up like this. Well, you know what? Hi, fishy. Well, you know what? <laughs> uh, it, it's been known that dolphins like uh, uh, inject poison from jellyfish to get high, so you wouldn't be too far off. It's heroin for dolphins. <laughs> wow! Look at that Siberian deposit. Well. Where did um, it come from? I'm not making that up. Does it Dolphins so actually do oh, that. I know. I believe it. I believe it. What about, you know, it's like it's like dogs huffing socks. <laughs> just I hope the like you, if you've ever had if you had a, ever had a full size dog, they're just like yeah. <laughs> Can't side blast. Yeah, I know what you mean. Head all messed up like Except the uh, my mom always bought like uh, bones for our dog, so they didn't do that. Can't they, but you know, you buy them bones, but you buy them sock scented bones. Yeah, I'm, that's that's a trick. I'm just thinking of that psychonauts, not psychonauts, psycho stick song. Uh, that, uh, that's that's, one I'm a dog and I like socks. Mm. It, 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 it's, it's a heavy metal song about uh, dogs playing with socks. Can't get a connection. Yeah, and there's one Can't of I connection. know there was one. About how they hated doing laundry. Yeah. I need to save the legit. Mia. What there's also one about um. Like there's a, there's one about them drinking scream. coffee. And it's just them screaming because they're caffeinated. And then in terms of the song, when the caffeine wears off, they get slower. And then when the, they brew more coffee, Mia, then they get crazy again. Can you hear me? I can't don't know this cool. button. This bus is caught on the tracks and it's taking. Oh, we found Mia. To hold back this train, I need to save the children. Oh man. Oh wow, Mia! You that thing think those that weird song. guards are little children? I can't fail the orphans again, Rasputin. Okay, you can go. Oh, oh my God! Here. I forgot about this. If you hit, if you hit the school bus stop sign, the fish stops swimming. Wait, wait, wait! Like I need to see that. I don't know what the rest of it is. Freeze! Hey, eel! Choo choo! 
can't side blast anything with my head all messed up. You know, like don't worry, you'll see it because it's it's part of how you solve the uh, the puzzle here. Uh, so yeah. Mia thinks that she's saving a careening. Uh, Mia thinks she's a bus driver for a bunch of kids, and she thinks a train's careening to uh, mm -hmm. uh, run them all over. Mm. And you have to you have to get her, you have to figure out how to get her out of her trance. Oh man, Mia would love this song. Yeah, she would. It's the song it's theme song to her level from the first game. I think that might fry my brain. Hi, Sparky. Bzz, bzz, to you too. I think this song would do wonders for Mia's mood. I need to save the children. Ooh, that makes my brain tingle a little. So I don't, hey, I don't know Mia, how quickly I solve it in the footage, here. but um, what you have to do is uh, you have to restore power to the bus, and then get it to turn the it's radio like on so that she can hear her song. Busted. Her favorite song, which is the background music turned up. <laughs> what am I doing that fish? Really likes his tunes. Um. Anyway, yeah, you have to get her to listen to the radio, which plays her song from her level from the first game, and then she she snaps it of it that way. Yes, I'm drawing Mia while she's in a psyched out trance. Butterfingers. Cool. I never had a school bus with a radio in it. Of course, I never had a school bus. Period. You know, growing up in the circus and all, no good. The power's dead. Whoops. Watch out, fish. So yeah, what you have to do is you have to, like... There's an electric eel out there. You have to unlock the hood of the car. And then... Um, trap the electric eel in there, and then that'll restore power to the bus. Red light. I think that might fry my brain. Move along. Stop. Yep, I figured it out. And then the horn unlocks the... The power's dead. Hey, where'd that eel go? Guess he didn't want to show his face after the battery sucked all the juice out of him. But I still need more power. We got some power, but not much. All right. No good. The power's dead. Hey, eel. Hi, Sparky. Okay, you can go. Halt! <laughs> yep, the fish actually responded to the bus stop sign. Freeze! Whoops. Watch out, fish. As you were. Ooh, almost caught an eel. Red light. Hey, there's the engine. I'd try to get it started, but I don't think driving out of here is very likely. Hey, lights! Now we're cooking. Battery looks half full. The battery's half full. Battery's out of juice. Well, quick. Go. Stop. We're almost full power. Oh, so he's trying to trap the electric. Yep, you just you just trap eels in the hood so you can charge the battery of the, of the bus. Battery in seawater for years. We're full up. And now the radio's on. Huh. The buttons don't work on that radio. So now we know what radio station her song's on. Mia, I need your help to find the other psychonauts. I need to save these orphans first. Orphans? Oh, she, she feels compelled to do that because uh, I, I remember her in her origin story, she failed to save an orphanage. So she feels regret about that. There we go, we got her song. Rasputin, where are you? Who are these people? Mia, we were in a plane crash. I'm in the research outpost. I think those guards work for Truman's kidnappers. And our kidnappers too, it seems. Are you with the others? No, we have to go find them. Of course, but I don't think I can do much of anything right now, Rasputin. Something's wrong. S 
Something's wrong with me. It's the Silurium. It's messing up our brains. But I think I can resist it. Mori always said your brain was armored like a tank. I think the best way for me to help is to focus my psychic energy on you, young man. I'll focus on boosting your telekinetic ability, just in case you run into any more runaway trains. But I can't do it alone, Mia. You won't be alone, darling. I'll be in your thoughts, listening to everything you think. Yikes. Hmm. Now that I have my TK back, what should I try to lift first? Well, I think this might be a good way to end our first episode of this. So next time on the Super Bonus Rounds, uh, we're going to go further and further down into the, the glowing butt that apparently you buy heroin from. So thank you guys all so much for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.